Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Mark Fixes Stuff. Today we're going to be opening a box that's sent to me by the wonderful Mr. Matthew Oust, who also has his own group on Facebook. Go and visit his group down below. And um, I'll be honest, I can't actually remember what's in the box. So uh, you're going to find out with me. So let's do the Rumpty Tumpty Vismella business and get the knife. Oh yes, we've got the knife. And we're sliding straight into this little beastie. And this video is shot in 1080p at 50 frames per second. Which is courtesy of Ian's Camera Shack in Frankfurt. So uh, I'd like to say a big thank you to Ian. Big thumbs up. And um, I'm going to cut the flaps off of this box. So that I don't have to move the tripod that I've stupidly set up. Just in front of the workbench in the man cave. Right, here we go. I'm expecting used underwear. Well, I'm hoping for used underwear, actually. Uh, I, I mean, um, yeah. <laughs> mm. Right, moving swiftly on. Very well packaged, Matthew. Very well packaged. Got some more bubble wrap for the bubble wrap collection. And we're going to pull out the first thing, which I've already recognised as being... Which sure I've got the whole thing here. Fire and ice on the Amiga computer. It's a bit mouldy and squashed, this one. Bless. But, you know, all good, nothing bad. So, put that to one side, great game. Let's see what else we've got under here. Oh, 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 even the Spectrum fans are gonna like this one because it's Super All-Stars by Codemasters for the A500. Look at that. Again, there's a bit of box damage, but but some great games in here. Look at this. Look. Oof. Steg the Slug, Robin Hood Legend Quest, Captain Dynamo CJ in the USA, and Magic Land Dizzy. I love me a bit of Dizzy. We'll pop that to one side. Let's see what else we have here. We have got. Oh, very nice. 10 great games, a 10 pack, and I think that that is for the Spectrum 48K and 128K plus two cassette. Uh, we'll plus three with the appropriate cable. There's no, um, what's the word I'm looking for here? There's no um, instructions in there, however. Ah, 10 great games, I think that's a different compilation because I did actually have that on the Speccy back in the day. So we'll pop that there. Three, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, there's ten great games there and one game which, who knows, who cares. Let's move swiftly on, the time is short and so are Hobbits. Right, next. Tun, tun, tun. Hang on. Are we ready? Boom. Birds of Prey. I'm assuming this is Amiga. It feels like Amiga. I've not played... Oh, yeah, look at that. That's very nice. Look at that there. Oof. Look at that manual. Oh. Oh. And look at the manual flicking. 60, uh, 50 frames per second. Very nice. Yep, both the discs are there. Lovely jubbly. Thank you, Matthew. Very kind. Oof. Just to one side now. A game that people love or hate. It is Zool, the ninja from the nth dimension. Look at that. Very nice. Very nice. Let's see if he's complete. And look, it's got the encoding wheel. It's got the two Disky Whiskey Woos. Lovely. And it's got a manual. There's a bit of... Um, Hold in there, but that can be treated. Lovely. Oh. There's something else in here, an address. I'm not sure how relevant that is. However, I'm going to hide it anyway. Although, you can always go back and have a look. Right. Let's see what's in here. We've got Ghostbusters 2 for the Spectrum. Oh, excellent. Let's open it up. <gasps> Oh, 
Oh yes, Ghostbusters 2, Spectrum cassette. I don't know what it does, that looks like box litter rather than instructions. However, pretty as a picture, mean as the devil. Uh, no, I would not have described him as pretty as a picture. Where things happen, slimes on the rise, Titanic goes back, etc, etc. What else have we got in here? <clears throat> Look, it's Glider! Macmillan ZX Spectrum. Instructions. Tape. Very, very exciting indeed. Okay. <clears throat> da, 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 da. I'm not chatting much because I've got a bit of a <clears throat> thing going on. What's in here? Microprose Gunship. Excellent. That is a great game. Not the original case for that. Gunship came in big box, if I recall correctly. Um, I think we've got three Jiffy bag, which is very nice. Tomahawk. Only the bravest fly. Tomahawk on the 48k Spectrum, which is actually a lie because anyone can fly Tomahawk on a 48k Spectrum with absolutely no fear of death whatsoever. These are in really good condition. Lovely. Pop that back there. Lovely, let's see what else we've got. Oh, there really is a lot of goodies in here. We've got Nomad. Oh, I love this game, actually. Nomad, excellent. <clears throat> Good stuff, brilliant. Let's check this white tape. Yep, Nomad by Ocean. Put them to one side. Um, what's the next one? There's a couple of gems in here. Backgammon for the Sinclair ZX Spectrum. I like gammon. I like having a back, and this is backgammon. This program uses machine code. Evaluation for fast response. High resolution color display with on screen dice roll. Mmm. Mmm. Salesy pitch. Nice. <laughs> Moving on. We've got oh, Commando for the Spectrum 48K. I had this back in the day. Excellent. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, I'm actually going to load that up and have a go. That's what we got. Software Doomsday Castle for the 48k Spectrum. Doomsday Castle, excellent condition. Look at that even been rewound. See the header tape. Do love that. Right, that is in great condition. Fantasy Software Limited, 1983, one of the very early, early Spectrum titles. Uh, oh gosh, let me just have a quick look and see how much more there is here, and I'll decide how quickly I've got to. What can climb off? There's loads of stuff. Loads and loads and loads of... Oh, good grief. Okay, here we go. I'm going to go a bit faster now. Here we go. We've got Predator, Hit Squad, no inlay. We've got Arctic Computing, Arctic Computing, another exciting adventure game. 3D, 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 Dimension Destructors, I think that is. Yeah, Dimension Destructors. Excellent. Dimension Destructors. Right, okay. I'm going to death space here. We've got Logic. Some games here that I've not seen before. That's on Virgin Games for the 48k. Very nice. We've got Rapid Fire. For when normal fire just isn't good enough and you need something a bit quicker. Just turn to Rapid Fire. Uh, abandoned Warehouse. La -di -da -di -da. Is the right tape? Yes, it is. Very good. We've got bom, 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 bom. Luna Jetman Ultimate Play the Game. Oh, unfortunately, there's a little bit of inlay damage there, but tape looks fabulous. Oh, I'm very pleased with that. Always like a bit of Ultimate in the collection, or rare, as they're now called Sea Base Delta. Oh, very nice. This has Harbin. Things are called Delta. Oh, that old Firebird. Um, um, cassette label though brings back so many memories of uh, spending my pocket money on games and going home and load them up and find them shuffle like the artwork on the outside. Boom, 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 boom. Oh, Cannon Soccer! <gasps> Cannon so Yes! Yes! Big yes! What's this? Amsoft Harrier Attack. That's for the CPC, I believe. Harriet Attack, yeah, by Jarrell Software, isn't it? Yeah, lovely. One side, lovely little freebies there. Thank you very much, Matthew. We've got Video Vault Limited, Jolly Roger, 
Jolly Roger. I think that these are pirated. Is that pirated? No, it's just really, really not very good quality original. Yeah, look. Um, Video Vault Limited. Glossop. <laughs> oh dear. That's probably the original as well, believe it or not. So pop that in there. Boom, ba -dum, boom, ba -dum. Nightmare on the ricochet, no case. Thank you very much indeed. Ooh. Screen Heroes, Street Hawk and Super Test, Knight Rider, Miami Vice. Uh, 1983M.C Lothlorien. Lothlorien, I wonder what that is. Redweed, load, redweed. Any ideas out there? Spec chums? Redweed? Hmm. I might have to look that up. I'm not as good as most of you lot at these sorts of things. Book of the Dead by CRL. Again, no case. These CRL stuff are quite collectible though. So, uh, what we got next? Um, Amsoft Xanagrams. So that's going to be for the CPC 464, which I have seven of. So uh, I'm sure I can find a machine to load that up on. Um, mm -mm -mm. Oof, BB data tape. Something obviously seems very legit. Legit. Right, so that can go. What's this? It's Transformers Robots in Your Pants. For the 48K. So Transformers, little O-ring thing there. A little, uh, I think they're called a reinforcer. You find a whole reinforcer. Oh yeah, but that will come off. That will actually come off. I'll take it off at some point. We really need to get some um, new cassette cases to replace old ones. Ninja. Excellent by Entertainment USA. I don't know why it was called Entertainment USA because most of the games didn't come from the USA. Um, I think it was just so that it sounded good. Okay, next up we've got oh booty. Firebird, this is a cracking game actually. Booty, yes, lovely. All rewound as well, these tapes. Unusual to find a box of tapes where they're rewound. Stir crazy. Snooker, other side battleship. So this has been recorded over. Snooker and other side is battleships. Hey, look. Mm -hmm. Right protection in the 80s. Okay. A couple more tapes. Um, whatever you like, whatever you want. Don't know. Um, probably again another. Don't really know. Sinbad and the Golden Ship, a graphic adventure with a 48k memory. No, oh, Sinbad and the Golden Ship. That's on Mastertronic, isn't it? It's Mastertronic inlays in very good condition. Look at that, awesome. Case looks like it's been rubbed up the rough side of an armadillo's asshole. But uh, yeah, the inlay and the important bits, the irreplaceable bits, are in very good condition. This is going to be quite a long video. I wasn't expecting this stuff. Cosmic War Toad on the 48k. But I. Um, animal Vegetable Mineral. I think I've got about nine of these now. Okay. Um, so here we've got Mastertronic Kickstart 2. Great game! Course Designer. Yay! Here you've got. Secret of St. Brides from St. Brides, the game's mistresses. 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 Who knows? Um, ah, I don't know what that is. Um, we've got boom, Splat 48k. We've got Hit Squad Top Gun. No case. We have got boom, 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 Werewolf Simulator Top 10. I bet it's dead realistic as well. Um, look, whoever um, had these games originally really was into their uh, adventures, their graphical adventures. Okay, we've got dun, 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 Spellbound. Oh, I wonder who wrote that, someone in this group. And Action Pack for the light gun games. I don't actually have a light gun, believe it or not. I've been offered a few, but uh, such a balls ache to set them up, I don't bother, to be honest. Uh, we've got Scrabble. There has to be a Scrabble. We've got Magnificent Seven, your Sinclair cover tape, Mystical Pogorama, Dominion, Dawn of a New Eden, 
Soccer skills, street soccer. We've got Beyond Sodoron's Shadow. Well, Sodron, Sodron's Shadow. Right, okay, we've got, flipping it over, Microgen's Battle of the Planets. And then we've got Howard the Dick, I mean Howard the Duck, um, on alternative software, recorded both sides. Bum, 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 bum. Still chuffing loads in here. Okay, let's have a look at these ones. Marie Celeste by Atlantis. Graphical adventure for your ZX Spectrum, 48K. Check the tapes in there actually. Yeah, Marie Celeste. Very nice. In Search of the Orb. That looks like um, the Wolfman. No. In Search of the Orb for the Sinclair Spectrum. I wonder what it's got to do with Wolfman. Okay. More, 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 more. Give me more, 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 more. Oh, right, here we go. We've got Collision Course Americana on the Spectrum. Oof. Yes, collision course. We've got the Eidolon. The Eidolon, that's Lucasfilm, isn't it? Um, yeah, very nice. That's the right one in there. Super Spy, it's Global Spy Chase and Maze Adventure for 48k Spectrum. Lovely. Okay, we've got Fire on the Water. Probably the follow up to Smoke on the Water. Fire in the Sky. We've got Traz at last, a game you can really break out. Very nice. Not passing off there at all. Traz. We've got Blue Thunder. Nothing to do with the television program, I don't think. Richard Wilcox software. Do I know Richard Wilcox? We've got. <laughs> Technician Ted. Let's check it, check it, check it out. Technician Ted. Everyone's seen Technician Ted. We've got Dark Star by Design Design. Very nice. Longest program ever produced for the ZX Spectrum. This is the longest program ever produced for the ZX Spectrum. It's not an arcade copy and no amount of blurb will adequately describe it. Just play it. Okay. It's actually quite effective. Ghostbusters! Except this has got an all-female cast. Uh, oh no, actually it hasn't. It's a good film. Right, okay. Um, you're making me like a whirlpool. Um, my head is spinning. Okay, we've got Rebel Star for the Spectrum. We've got Top Gun. Again, actually. Take my breath away. I think that's two of those. Then Top Gun, lovely. We've got Bug Bite Software's Spectres, which looks for all the world like a Pac-Man clone in some kind of SM gear. Very lovely. Spectres. Okay, a little bit of uh um Out. Okay, no creasing. So, really got to get some new cases. Where can I get them really cheaply? I've seen them expensive on eBay. Tetris cassette single by Doctor Spin for the uh, the Game Boy. Look at that. God, remember cassette singles? Oh, oh. oh nothing else to say about that. Um, Mario Brothers Ocean Spectrum Plus Two. We've got. Return of the Jedi Death Star Battle. Awesome. We've got, we're nearly there guys. Oh, excellent, Roland on the Ropes. Brilliant game, Roland on the Ropes. We've got Cookie, ultimate play the game. Cookie. Okay, that can go back there. Cookie, I love the inlays for ultimate. Shorts Fuse, lovely, Firebird. We have got, I'm going to come to those in a moment, to look at the Lucy ones. Super Stuntman's KGB Super Spy. We've got White Bitten. We've got another Ghostbusters, this time on Ricochet. Oh, it is on Ricochet. Two Ricochet Ghostbusters. Action Pack Light Gun Games. Origin 
Night uh, Times of Law. I think you can guess what just happened off camera. Um, we've got um, a Harvesting Moon plus Fairy for the Spectrum by Power Play. O level maths. Oh, O levels. Ah, oh, they're so useful. Um, not even sure what that is. Oh, Jack Nipper 2 in Coconut Capers. I liked that game. Energy Warrior, Master Trait, added dimension on side B is Molecule Man, so it's double pack. And that looks like another, um, another, um, adventure game. Odyssey of Hope, side B is game only, side A is with introduction. We have got... Sinclair user, the Grey Eight. We have Fall Guy. Well, I could jump an open drawbridge at Tarzan from a vine. Cause I'm the unknown stuntman. Red Eastwood looks all fine. Motorcycle Crazy for the 48k spectrum. And finally, oh no, not finally. Am Soft Easy Word. Look, that's been used loads, that has. Look at that, it's still got new tape smell. Bet that's never been loaded. Um, and finally, two other little bits and bobs. Let's see what else we've got in there, if anything. No, nothing else. Wow, so well packed. This has been excellent. Thank you, Matthew. We have got, finally, what look like some more adventures. We've got Seas of Blood, an adventure game written by Mike Woodruff and Brian Howarth. Yep, there we go, in there. Lovely. Do love the old clamshells. We've got the Ark of Yisod for the 128K Spectrum. Must be a big program. Lovely. And finally, we've got Zenji for the Sinclair Spectrum by Activision. Tips from Matt Hubbard, designer of Zenji. Oh, it looks lovely, actually. Look at that. Awesome. Right, right, this has been a pretty good box opening. I've enjoyed this very much. Um, if you can help me out with some information about these games that would be great because quite frankly i'm a stupid idiot this is mark from mark fixes stuff signing out and reminding you to subscribe to get your fix and whatever you do don't look into the eyes of hypno cat